Hey, what's going on, guys? Tommy here, and today I'm gonna be opening up the crazy pop and cook and Kainoshi sushi set. So, like, I already pop, um, put out the video for the pop and cook and ice cream set, so make sure you guys go check that out after this video. So, yeah. So, today we're gonna be opening up, as I already just said, the Tenoshi sushi set. So, we are gonna be making egg. That's the uh, basically omelet. We got we're gonna make tuna. We're gonna make and salmon roll, which is gonna be the egg, the egg, egg, egg. So yeah, and then with the, there's gonna be a piece of candy that we roll around to make the to make the seaweed. So here's the front. Here's the back. Read that. Pause. Pause the video right there if you have this and read the instruction, or else just listen to my. Uh, so it's, let's open this up. So there's an open tab right here that you're supposed to open it with. So here you go. I hope mine turn out as good looking as these. And this is the guide where we spread out our uh, candy, aka basically are gonna be our seaweed onto this to measure it. Well, you make it. You have to make it as big as that. Oh god. I'm not doing a. Good, very good job of cutting here. Oh, look at this. All right. So here is the scion pack, a little bit, and it's gonna be our rice powder. This is gonna be our salmon roll. This is our omelet candy powder. This is our salmon roll candy powder A. So these two are the two that go together. This is omelet. And this is the tuna, so these are the two that go together. And this is soy sauce. We get a spoon. They call it a spoon, uh, as you can see here. Kind of looks like a spatula. Here it is our uh, a little bit putty of kind of candy and we have a squeezy bottle and I forgot wait where's the water water where's the water ew what is over there got the water so we had to one here where we have to fill it in the what am I doing the over depression so we have to fill it up that much Uh, I don't feel like this is working. Yeah, it's not really working, so yeah. Just probably make a get. No, I'm just gonna fill up this cap. Oopsies. Eh? What are you doing? Oh, oh god. Okay. Maybe a bit more. Just a bit. Maybe one more cup. I'm spilling water everywhere. So that looks like enough. Let me get a paper towel. Clean this up. Clean these other sides up here. Because I'm spilling things everywhere. So we're gonna start off with the cyan powder pack and this is gonna be our rice. Okay, open that up. <coughs> oh god, I already got like the powder on me. It really smells like oh that smells bubble gummy. That actually smells like bubble gummy. So we're gonna mix we are gonna mix this up until it's like cooked rice a little bit. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like keep mixing this up for a while. This is gonna take pretty long, isn't it? It's starting to, oh my, that is a really strong smell of bubble gum. Probably the smell of the sodas because on the box it says here, uh, grape and soda flavors. 
That is not great. I can tell you that. This is not great flavor. Well, it might be, but it's really bubble gummy, so I'm assuming it's not great flavor. All right, that looks really like cooked rice. Okay, <coughs> we have our cooked rice. So next up, it says we're gonna make our omelet powder. So we are gonna fill uh, our squeezy bottle up here. And it's not gonna, oh no, 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 okay. The squeezy bottle fell in, so uh, I guess we're done with that. So I guess we're gonna use the cap now. So every single section has a place where you fill it up to the line. And that looks about right. I am making a mess over here. People say I'm pretty sure like this is the messiest one and it's looking like it. So now we take our omelet powder, which is gonna be our egg. Oh, did you guys see that? Powder just shot out of the pack. All right, let me see. Okay, that should be good enough. Gotta be very careful. This will be our egg. gonna be our egg. We need to mix this up completely. Ooh, okay, now that's the flavor of grape right there. Maybe a bit more. So you gotta spread out to the whole mold. Yeah, it's still a bit liquidy over here, so I might as well mix more up. Alright, so now we're going to spread it out to the whole mold. Okay, there we go. Now it says let it wait for three minutes. While I'm waiting for that, I'm going to make the tuna asa. So, oh god, it's weird with the squeeze bottle stuck inside. Okay. I gotta be very careful not to mix this in with the omelet. And that looks a bit right to me. Maybe a bit more, which is probably gonna affect it really badly. Yeah, I think we need like a tiny bit. Oh, no, no, no. What did I just do? So we're going to damp all that real quick and damp all that. Yeah, so let's just go. So tuna powder is going to be your pink powder. It's going to be the pink package. Guys, get ready. It might. Yeah, it just did it. Well, it was a little one. I don't know if you saw it or not. gonna be our tuna all right it's starting off all right starting off surprisingly better than the omelet uh, I'm not sure okay that's also a grape flavor I can smell that try not to mix this into any other places this actually kind of looks, it looks a bit dark to me, so I'm not sure if it's gonna turn out as good of a red, but it looks a little bit dark. I don't know if you can see. This is like ketchup, seriously. It doesn't smell like ketchup, though. It smells like, yeah, great. I already said it. It smells, okay, just a lot of lumps. So I might as well fix that problem. And now we need to spread out. Spread it out up to the corner. All right.
right, that looks a little bit good to me. And I just, I need to even up this top a bit here. It doesn't look pretty flat. It looks not that flat to me. All right, so now that it has been straightened out, we can do the most interesting part, which is the these two. So these are the two most interesting. So I don't know if you know, but this is a chemical uh, that I know. And these two react, and this is gonna be our salmon row, AKA the fish eggs. So we pour the green pack into A. So I might as well get out the cap. Okay, I'm making another huge mess. Same thing is happening. I'm just gonna get a new paper towel. Oh, I almost dropped the cap there. And that would have been bad because I would have had to guess the pouring. Can't believe the squeezy bottle is still in there. Like seriously, it's still in the the water bottle. I don't know if you can see, but I think that's about right. <coughs> All right, that. So that will do for packet A. All right, get ready. Oh, okay, I'm gonna do it that time. So I'm pretty sure this is a salt. I am assuming. So that goes in. Where's my spoon? Okay. So we're supposed to mix this up. I'm not sure if it's working or not. And I'm pretty sure I already just mixed this thing with this, so I'm probably gonna take all that water out because I just told you guys this thing reacts. I just sprayed more of it into there. You guys feel like this is enough mixing? I feel like this is not enough yet. All right, that looks like it's good. So as my was saying, these were these two react, and I spreaded some a little bit in here. So I'm probably gonna take out all of that water all right so here's this is the chemical and we're and that that will be the salmon row this is very weird no guys i'm having so many floods okay Pretty sure that will work. So here it will be the pack you need. So this is gonna be very, oh no. Wait, if I'm gonna make the salmon roll, I'm gonna need the squeezy bottle. I need the squeezy bottle, how am I gonna get it? How am I gonna get it? How am I gonna get the squeezy? So I guess I'm gonna go to the bathroom, I guess. It doesn't look like it's fully mixed in, so I'm gonna keep mixing it. I'm gonna keep 
go mixing this. I don't know if you know, but there's still like a bit of like little things that you can see. It's easier to see on person. But actually, this, um. <coughs> it still doesn't look like it's fully ready. I'm making a flood down here. Alright, let's try to clean that up. Still looks like it's not ready. Alright, we got our squeezy bottle back. Which is good. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is... Okay, let's just make, make it ready. So now here is the cool part. So we're going to score little dots of it. And every time it's hitting the water, when it hits the water, it instantly um, hardens up. Doesn't look like it's working. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's working too much. Very carefully. Yeah, okay. That one was stuck though, so. I'm... What is up with the squeezy bottle? It's not really working. Oh yeah, this is not okay. Let's continue on. Little balls. Just make little balls. Just little balls. See, I don't know if it, I don't know if you guys can see, but every time it's hitting the water, it's hardening up. Can? Ooh. Hold on. Okay. Yep. I'm just going to keep doing this. Press gently and wait, and then a ball comes out. Yes, it's working now. This is going to take a while, isn't it, though? Remember, we have to make a lot of this stuff. Okay, I guess there's a little bit of water under here. Uh oh. Hold on, let me squirt all of this out. Oh. We need to get a lot of this. It's working. It looks like little, like, viruses in your body. Like those little germs. Oh my god, get it out. Something's really weird with the squeezy bottle. <coughs> oh god, that noise. empty this part but it won't try but it won't come out no no how about 
put one more. I don't think that's gonna be enough, so how about one more for sure, okay? Oh god, that noise is satisfying and weird too. Alright, that should be good enough. So let's start making our sushi. But first, we gotta cut it in half. Of the tuna and salmon need to be cut in half. Alright, so this is the part where we're going to take in our black candy. Ooh, this is actually really nice. So we're going to start by forming a ball here. So let's make our sushi a bit more of a ball. And then now... We take this and we put it on. And that is our omelet sushi, our first one. Doesn't look too bad. I feel like the balls need to be a bit bigger, but ooh. All right, that need, the, this ball needs to be a bit bigger. Oh, okay, that is too big. I'm not sure if that's going to affect it or not, but let's make now one okay, I'm gonna add a paper towel. This is actually surprisingly really messy. Uh-oh. This one doesn't want to come out, it looks like. All right. It's half broken, but... Yeah. There is our tuna sushi. Looks a bit worse, but doesn't matter. So that comes in two sushis. Two sushi. So now is the part where we take our uh, candy and we measure it on this part. So we take our a bit of party candy. Hold on, let me take another this paper towel again. So here is yeah, this is really easy to to work with. You gotta ply it out. This is really hard actually. I don't know how but People say this is easy. <coughs> All right. So we have our our uh, seaweed. Yes, now we wrap this around. Now that's too small. We're gonna use the whole thing. The whole ball. And we are going to, okay, that is a bit too much rice here. like it doesn't want to stay but now it does okay so now is the part we take our spatula and we take up the eggs and we place the eggs on to the 
to our sushi here. All right. Bit on this side. I'm spilling a lot. They look like little pearls. Like from the yogurt store. When you put on your toppings. Alright. There is our salmon roll sushi. Alright, so first we're going to eat. We're just going to eat this whole thing right here. So three, two, one. Whoa, okay. There's a lot of flavor in that. First of all, the rice tastes like bubblegum. Second of all, there's a lot of grape in that. And the true candy tastes like a little bit grape. All right. There goes tuna. Oh, I guess I broke the top that box. All right, that's her. And now our omelet sushi. Okay, I don't know why, but when I smelled both of them, they both smelled like grape. When I tasted them, they taste different. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish this one. The omelet tastes like a little bit different from the tuna, but it doesn't matter. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, and I'll try to do more of these popping cooking videos. This is by far one of the most messiest ones. Look at this. This is really messy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.